Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Story of Seasons. And we are back at the farm. Let's fill up our watering can. And make sure we water all of the crops. As we do. Okay, so today I think we can actually look at what it would take for us to get that small cabin. We're getting better and better at this. I feel like we're leveling up pretty fast. Let's ring the bell. Let's give you some pets. And let's enter. Oh, we got an egg. We do got an egg. Let's see, I don't have an incubator. Oh. There's like a blue star above it. And a one. I'm not sure if that has any specific meaning. Let's head into town, though. I want to see if Nigel is open. Well, hello there, kicker. Getting the hang of things here in all of town? I'd say so, yes. I realize we may not have as much convenience compared to the big city, but... We get by here well enough. We all work together to build this place into what it is today. And we're proud of that. We have our troubles, of course, but... Hmm. Jacopo, what on earth are you doing here? Not skipping work on the ferry, are we? Nah, Dad. It's cool. We don't have many tourists heading in today, so I took care of cleaning duty in no time flat. So that's why you're back early. Yeah, pretty much. Figured I'd run and take a shower before Captain George give me my next assignment. And that, you see, is one of our troubles. We lack tourism. I'm not saying the Olive Town has to be a top resort spot by any means, but I'd like it to be a tiny oasis that tourists can enjoy. That's where you come in, Kicker. You're... You were raised in the big city, weren't you? Could I get your opinion on something? What do you suppose we could do to grab the attention of the city folk? Advertise on TV. Develop the town with the latest tech. Offer a break from the hustle and bustle. Yeah, I think I will go with that. Ah, I see. Offering a calm break from city life might be just what they need. We can certainly do that for them. Here. I constantly think to myself, folks from the big city are always rushing around. They need a good break every now and then. If... They could take some time to relax in Olive Town. Perhaps they could find themselves again and remember life's simple pleasures.
Speaking of life's simple pleasures, that shower felt great. Maybe I'll sneak in a cafe trip and take the rest of the day off. Oh, for the love of... Please go to work, son. Lazy bum. Okay, I think it was this one, right? Ideal sending work. Opens at 8. An ideal. Oh, I guess we haven't uh, talked. Let's see, I want to expand my house. A wooden house come with a kitchen, fridge, wardrobe, bath, and space for decoration. Large enough for one pet. Well, I do have the money and I do have the wood, it seems, so let's do it. Expand. I mean, I will more or less be flat broke, but I'll have a house. I feel like that's a lot compared to living in a tent. How about it? Nice and cozy, like a home should be, right? I built a kitchen for you. You should try and cook something up with all those ingredients you picked up on the farm. Awesome. With a house this spacious, I'd say you got enough room to keep a pet. If you're interested in pets, you should head on down to the animal shop. I'm sure Bridget can help you find one to your liking. Oh, those are so cute! Yeah. I did some fine work, if I do say so myself. I'm looking forward to doing business with you again soon. Well, I kind of doubt it because I'm flat broke. Novice Chef. Okay, let's see. Are there any harvestables that I could perhaps get my hands on? Blood clam? I really wish I had like a fishing rod or something. Oh. A royal fern? Let's enter the mines. Okay, so I guess the ladders that I found are still around. That's kind of cool though. I didn't remember where they are. Here we go. And for some reason I left. Guess I pressed the wrong buttons. Okay, let's... I'm down again. Oh. Uh. 
Keep on going down. Okay. Look at that. Leveling up. I just want to see how far down I can actually go. Oh, there's already a ladder here. And I'm getting quite a bit of iron ore from this. Okay. Well, I'm going down kind of far. Oh! You made it all the way down here. You're pretty good. As a reward, I'll give you a present. Keep up the hard work. You're doing great. Obtain a white opal from Magma Spirit. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I guess this is as far down as you can actually go. Yeah, let's leave. Okay, uh, let's ship. Man, I totally forgot about that. And I think I'm gonna keep the iron ore though, but let's sell off this clam. I mean, it isn't a whole lot, but something. Take a bath. Okay. Actually, it looks like we regained a bit of energy from that. Oh, uh, we got a nice bed now, though. So, let's sleep. Okay, I mean, we didn't get a whole lot of money, but... I guess it's something. Good morning to you, Kicker. Apologies for barging in on you so early, but there's something important I need to ask you. Perhaps you might have noticed, but our fair town's been getting livelier by the day. My hope is that we can keep this up. We can develop our town into an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I can't do that alone. That's why I like to Petition you, your aid, as a citizen of Olive Town. I'd love to help. Oh, 
most excellent. You got the same can-do spirit as your grandfather. It's wonderful to have the help of someone so reliable. Once we develop the town, we can open more shops, all of which I'm sure will be your liking. Uh, we might be able to open more shops. I'm still in the plans, perhaps. So nothing set in stone, but it should be financially feasible. Ahem. In any case, our current plan is to beautify our roads a bit. The more aesthetically pleasing our town is, the more satisfaction tourists will get. And the satisfied tourist is bound to visit us again. I've posted some details about the project on the bulletin board in Olive Hall. Don't forget to give it a read when you got the time. Okay, so that's like the quests, I suppose. I look forward to your progress together as a, our progress together as a town. Okay, cool. Oh, damn, I think I forgot my chicken outside. Oh. Moondrop sun flower? Okay, it did go inside by itself. Okay, that's good. Let's give you some pets. And let's have you go outside. Oh! Damn, that's huge. Mysterious creature. You might have noticed some odd little creatures hopping around your farm while you're pioneering or working the farm. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them. First, losing items. Items you leave on the ground will disappear the next day. Keep your important items safe. Don't drop anything you don't want to lose. Oh, I guess my inventory is full. Okay, let's sell off these moon drops. Giant turnips, some normal turnips. And that egg. I mean, I need to make a lot of money right now, so... Let's pick that up. Blood clam. Another blood clam. <laughs> Giving you some more pets. Oh, some berries.
Uh, let's see. How much? Oh, yeah, that requires lumber. And I don't really know how to make lumber just yet. I wonder if that is something that you could actually purchase. Buy a farm facility, develop farm facility. Um, uh, man, I a big coop. How about buying one? Yeah, I can only get these because those I already have. Okay, let's quit. I kind of just want to know how to make lumber, but I guess I will need some tools and stuff for that. Okay, this is a tool shop. Let's actually hey. talk with you. Okay. I still have no idea how to make lumber. Chopping down trees will yield logs and other materials if you upgrade the axe to higher quality to up it become easier to cut down trees hammer can be used to level out till land Lumber maker. Ah. I see. Okay, that's cool. Ah, so now I have one of those in my inventory. That's great. Okay, I see. That's how you do it. I mean, what can I say? I'm a newbie, okay? Here we go. Okay, I will need... Three pieces of lumber to do this. So that means we need to cut down some more trees. Let me 
mean, I will need quite a bit of those logs, though. But I mean, this make a whole lot of sense to me. But I had to make something to make the stuff. Alright. Now then. Craft. Might as well clear out all of this grass, right? Starting to look a whole lot better here. I'm guessing that thing is gonna take quite some time now. Doesn't seem to go very fast. I also wonder then, do I need to make a... Like a smelter for the... Yeah, ingot maker. Okay, so that requires 10 logs and 10 pieces of iron. Okay. So in other words, I need to shut down some more trees. Just finish this up. Okay, we have enough. Oh, but my bag is full. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's something we can sell off. Oh yeah, we got the wild berries. And a royal fern, some sap, and some oregano and blood clams. Oh, that actually will give us quite a bit of money. Craft one of these. Let's set it down and let's insert some of this. Craft. Okay, we got one piece of lumber. Awesome. Okay, well, honestly, I feel like I should probably just end off the day here because we don't have any energy left. Yes, let's sleep. And also, this episode is starting to get kind of long. I'm having way too much fun with this. But yeah, now we have over 2,000. Most of it was thanks to those giant turnips, or turnips that I got.
But yeah, I'm ending off this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.